come to the psychic night. I wonder what the psychic night would be like. Is there a psychic night? Yeah. What if your mum started talking to you? I, I want to hear from my dad. Brian, you're such a disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Look who you married. Ah, <laughs> oh, touche. <laughs> We are going to go to a Kennedy grave today, so I'm going to go cut down some flowers to take with us. Um, it's over in Chatsworth, it's a beautiful day and meant to be raining tomorrow, so we want to make the most of it. So again, I can try out my summer jacket and summer gloves again before we go away. Hopefully we, no, we won't need the rain jacket today. I think it takes about half an hour to get there, 14 minutes. I don't know, it depends how slow we go, to be fair. So I'm going to go cut down some roses now and come with me. I want to choose some nice ones, but to be fair, they're past their best. But I think that's more my uh, gardening skills. I'm looking on the floor because I don't trim the bushes. <laughs> that could get naughty. So because I don't trim my bush, it's a little bit heavy and all the flowers on the floor. So these look nice, don't they? Let's get a good bunch. Oh, it is working. Oh, there they go. I dropped them. Ow! Fucker! Fuck! 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 Ow! It's out! Shitting hell! Bloody thought! <laughs> uh, so we're going to go take these and go put them on the grave. Do you think I need some white flowers to go with? Ah! Fuck! Oh, they're nice. Don't smell them anything. They'll look pretty. Oh yes, they go well. Ah! Fuck! Fuck! Ow! 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 There, what do you think? Ow. So, I think I'm going to go wrap it in paper or something because that's really painful. All wrapped up and ready to go now. It's not very elegant. I don't think I'd get a job as a florist. Oh well, I've got to find Brian. Get the bikes out. Lots to do. Off we go. I just shoved it together. It'll be okay. Please survive. <laughs> there we go. So, look. Fits better, and then I've got this protection here. Yeah. And also, you see before it kept twisting, so I was always twisting it, whereas this is kind of... Like, Nestled in the cleavage. Yeah, look, so bending over and everything. Okay, let's, let's see if we can get it. Do it. <laughs> bending over. <laughs> what do you... Oh! <laughs> Boob cam in and secure. My danglies are okay. That's the wires, by the way. It's a lovely day, isn't it? Beautiful. Beautiful. We've been very lucky. Yeah, this is probably our only days of summer, though. It's so loud. I think you're either super loud or super soft, but maybe it's just your voice is just really annoying. <laughs> joking, I'm joking. Joking. <laughs> joking. Oh, this jacket is cool. Is it good? You know, it's, it's just, it's not when you stop. It's not as good as riding naked. I mean, not as in naked naked, as in like in a vest, which yeah. is practically naked. Um, but, obviously, but it is letting the wind go in. But it's probably because I've got my top undone too. Where are you taking me today? I'm taking you to a Kennedy grave. You've never been, have you? I know. Have you? Yes. Well, let's see if I can find it again. <laughs> it, it's actually a really interesting story. It's about Kick Kennedy. So it's actually Kathleen Kennedy. So there were nine Kennedy children. Yeah. And Joe Jr. was the eldest. Then John... F. Kennedy that became president, who became president. Then there was Rosemary and then Kathleen who was Kick and she's the, what the story's about. She's who the story is about. So this is JFK? JFK, yeah, that's yeah. what called about.
he's going to make the coffees now. Salted caramel. We've stopped at Chatsworth Cafe just for an ice cream. How come the Kennedy is great this year then? Kick Kennedy. Kick or kick? Kick, as in with your foot. But it was because she was a lot of, oh, she was just to kick her shoes off, I think it was. And she was a lot of fun. The story starts, I don't know, should it start when she was born? She was born in 1920. Right. Okay. But then in 1938, the father, Joseph Sr., um, got a job as the United States ambassador for the United Kingdom. So they shipped the whole family over from this America. This is JFK's dad. Yes. Okay. There are other famous Kennedys. Okay. And uh, so they all came over, the whole lot of them. And obviously it was a big thing because they were this big, famous um, American family. Yeah. And they were all welcomed and everyone, the, all the British people fell in love with Kit Kennedy and she was the debutante of 1938. So that's what, you know, when they, they go to all the dances and everybody, everything. And, and it, although she wasn't like traditionally beautiful, oh my goodness, all the guys just fancied her so much. They just fell in love with this lovely American who was like, I would say she was the biggest rebel of the whole lot. Anyway, then the war broke out in 1939 and she had already met Billy, William Cavendish, who was set to inherit Chatsworth. Should we drive to Chatsworth or go in here now? Uh, go to Chatsworth, just okay. ride on, yeah. Because we need to be in here. Do we? Okay, well, yeah, we'll come so, back. Okay. So he was set to inherit Chatsworth, which we'll see in a minute, because it goes to the firstborn son, and that's the way it works, because they were all... Um, Dukes. And um, how old was she when she was meeting this dude? So it would have been in 1938, so she would have been 18. Okay. And she wanted to stay in England because obviously she was in love, but dad said nope, everyone had to go back to America, which was fair enough, you know, it was the war. And then she, she desperately wanted to get back, but wouldn't be able to get back for four years. So she started working for the Red Cross and then they were sending people over. And finally they said yes, she could come over. So she came over in 1943 to be with Billy. So that's Chatsworth, so that's what she, they, she would have inherited. Well, that's what... That's what Billy would have inherited. So Billy, William Cavendish, was set to inherit. And anyway, he and Kick, they fell in love. But the problem is, is that Kick's family was strictly Catholic and he was Protestant. So this was a massive no-no, absolutely massive no-no. You're basically committing a mortal sin and you're going to live in sin for the rest of your life by marrying a Protestant. But she was adamant and she was rebellious and didn't always listen. And so she actually did marry him, and they got married on uh, married in 1944. And the only family member who was there was um, sorry. Should I just say I'm not stopping? Yeah, we just turn around. Hello, can I just turn around, please? May I just turn around? Is that okay? Sorry. Can I just turn around? Yeah. Thank you. So she married him in any case. So she married him in any case, and the only Kennedy who was present during her marriage was Ju her eldest brother, Joe Jr. Right. So it was Joe Jr., then it was JFK, as we know, then it was Rosemary, and then it was Kathleen or Kit Kennedy. He was the only one at the wedding, because the others did not approve. But then, shortly after he was at the wedding he obviously was in the army he got called up and he was in a aeroplane which blew up right so he died shortly after they got married and then five weeks but after Billy, the not not joe Billy. no joe died okay. joe, joe died yeah his plane blew up okay and then billy got called up 
to go to the army five weeks after they were married. Yeah. And then a few months later, he was dead in Belgium. He was shot in the it shot in the heart by a German sniper, apparently. Oh. Okay. Um, so, so she was only married for a few months. And so you got to think they met in 1938. They were still in love all that distance, you know, having a distant relationship for all those years. Yeah. Then coming over, finally being able to get married, and then a few months later he was dead. And she didn't want to go back to America, she wanted to stay in England, which she did. And then a few years later she met this Peter Fitzwilliam, who was an earl. I'm really surprised actually she ended up with him, because Billy was very shy and kind of quiet apparently. And yeah. this Fitzwilliam, he was older than her by about 10 years and really quite a, a playboy playboy <laughs> yeah so apparently he had gotten three of the local girls pregnant before he was even 21 obviously he wasn't 21 where when was he, he from her. this area rotherham uh, right actually his house which we'll go to it's got a longer facade than buckingham palace so his oh, house really? is actually bigger yeah and it's got a room for every day of the year they made their money on coal and they became one of the richest, most powerful families in the UK. Completely corrupt, like complete, I mean, it's such, they've got so many, uh, I'm gonna say fun stories um, <laughs> about the family. I mean, you think one of those dramas, period dramas have a lot of <laughs> drama, yeah. but uh, nothing compared to the actual real thing. Right. So anyway, she then wants to go and marry this guy and he was actually a divorcee so he was married and he was a protestant so this was a very big no-no and then they decided to go on a plane to go ask her father who was in france at the time yeah and so the two of them got on the plane and then the plane crashed into mountains in france and they both died <laughs> but because she was still married to um you know she she was still married to billy yeah she was still um, his wife and so they buried her here and the only one who was at the funeral was JFK. Oh really? No that's not true. The only one who was at the funeral was her father. He was the only one that came over but then so none of them had visited this grave but then just before a few months before he was assassinated JFK made like a um, it wasn't scheduled visit, an unscheduled visit, and he came to go see her grave. Okay. And then he died a few uh, what, months later. Here? Yeah, it's here, in the graveyard, here. Oh. Ow! Trapped my finger in it. Rosemary, which was the eldest daughter, had a lobotomy. She's another story. Well, she was brain damaged during birth because apparently... The doctor wasn't available because he was dealing with the pneumonia epidemic or something. And so the nurse tried to keep the baby inside and held it there for two hours. And so she was brain damaged. And then because of her mood swings and stuff like that, they gave her a lobotomy. But then she couldn't walk or talk afterwards, so they put her in a home. Anyway, that was sad. So out of the nine Kennedys, obviously JFK and Robert were assassinated. The eldest Joe was killed in the plane crash. Ted was in a plane crash. Rosemary had a lobotomy and Kick died in a plane crash. So pretty, well, I guess that's why one of them, I think it was Ted said that there was a, a curse on the Kennedys. You can see why. And then a whole number of the next generation had issues, but I think it's more issues with money because it was drug, a couple of drug deaths. <laughs> why are you laughing? Anyway, oh, you have ended up with it. I've got the flowers. They've lasted okay. A little bit wilty, but not too bad. So we have to go to the top. So there's the church and the family graves are actually at the top up here. Oh, it's old, isn't it? Yeah, it is old. Almost there. I have to remember which one it is. It's nothing fancy, by the way. It's very simple. Right, where is it again? Here it is. Yeah, so she was 28. 
the widow of Major, hang on, Major, the Marquis of Hartington, killed in action and daughter of the Honourable Joseph Kennedy, sometime ambassador of the United States to Great Britain. Joy she gave, joy she has found. And then on this says, in memory of John F. Kennedy, President of the United States of America, who visited this grave 20th of June, 1963. And then he was assassinated a few months later. Mm. So I'm just going to put, uh, hang on. I'm going to put this in, I just want to unwrap it. So I don't think they want tin foil. Do you think that's rude putting it in there? No, just... Let's take it. What does it say there? In memory of... It's got efforts and courage are not enough without purpose and direction, JFK. I think we need to put a new American flag on. See, it's not a fancy grave. In fact, I've, none of them are particularly fancy. And it's all the way up here. So it's actually a ra rather large grave yard, considering it's a teeny, teeny, tiny town. But I guess it's been many, many years. And the family ones are all up here. But I don't think, you know, I've been to a lot of graveyards and there's been some really fancy gravestones yeah. and plots, but it's not, and I, I like that. So, what, we, what are you asking? So, Billy was killed in Belgium, so his grave is in Belgium. So, do you know what? Apart from, obviously, the ones that, that died in, uh, you know, in the war and things, they do tend to live a good long life, which is lovely. Always a glider up there. So, yeah, this is just the story. William Spencer see some of them up here. It's Henry George Cavendish, 1873. Um, 1865 there. So that's William Spencer Cavendish, 6th Duke of Devonshire. Mary Cavendish. I'd love to know why she's got a necklace of shells. Don't think noisy drone. What would you do if I kicked it? You kick me. Oh, it looks like a dead frog there. It's not a dead frog. No, but it does though, doesn't it? When you run over the frogs and they go kind of hard and crusty <laughs> in the sun. No? It's not what you expect in terms of, you don't expect a Kennedy yeah. to be here. And secondly, it's not all big fancy bells and whistles. And it's just, it's nice. Peaceful. So JFK actually came here. Yeah, JFK came here. It shows you there. He came here, 20th of June 1963, just before he died. And the thing is, Kathleen and JFK were actually very close. But JFK was a very sickly person. He was very ill his whole life. He was very, very ill. I mean, I think he almost died a good few times. I think it must have been very, very hard for him to have lost his sister. I think it was hard for all of them because she was such a vivacious character and to have lost her like that would have been ter terrible. So yeah, not great. Okay, we're going to go off now. Say goodbye to Kathleen. Oh, I've got my sunglasses here. So say goodbye to Kathleen and then we're going to go back, ride back home. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe. <laughs> to the cheese fest, like and subscribe. Ugh, if they want to watch us, they watch us. If they don't, they don't. We are just having fun. I get to see things, which I wouldn't normally do. 
Yeah, do you know what? That is fun. You get to... Would, yeah. would you have come out here? No. Well, that's the thing, is it? Isn't it? Because I've been out here. Would you have come dragging, with me? Dragging me through a graveyard. Oh, well, that's to, nice. You're walking next to me. Trying to earmark a spot for me, are you? <laughs> you wouldn't be allowed in here. Okay. I'm not noble enough. No, it's not noble. Well, you don't no. live in the village. But also, I, I am related to Lord Man. Oh, so. here we go again. Illegitimates don't count. Just kind of saying. Cool yeah, I'll change the subject. <laughs> There's a family secret for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say those things about me. Why? I've had a hard life already. Oh, yeah. Mm. Married to me. Is this functional, this church? <laughs> functional? <laughs> I assume so, darling. Do you want to go in? Do you know what? The whole village was actually moved once. So one of the dukes, he didn't like where the village was, so he picked it all up and moved it because he didn't want to see it from the house. <laughs> yeah, and he lived there. In, in yeah, in the big old Chatsworth house. And he didn't like to see the village, so he moved it up the road. Didn't want to see the riffraff. Crazy. It is crazy. Too much money, I would say. But if they married well, they did things to the house. And if they didn't marry well, obviously, they, it was leaner years. Right oh, the there are the bikes. Look how beautiful. Right, I'm going to go now. So we're going to go ride now because they're the bikes. Looking all good in the sunshine. And we're going to go. Bye-bye. So apparently I've been riding without my seat on. You see that? Yeah. That cup's in there. Oh, uh, you see, I just plonked it. Whoops. Do you know why I actually preferred it undone? How? Well, because when I stopped, it was higher up. And it just felt better. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. It just was comfortable. <laughs> so I've already got my... Um, your reputation No, I've you. already said. I was like, oh, because I don't trim my bush. <laughs> when did you say that? <laughs> but I was cutting the rose bush. <laughs> there we go. talking about a lobotomy, what were you going to say? It's so funny because it's so strict like with kick, how dare you marry a Protestant, you're going to be living in sin and all that. But the, um, the Kennedys were known to be, to play away from home a lot. And it's just, just really Double mean standards. how, <laughs> how like, you know, she had, she was given such a hard time. Do we go which way? Uh, straight. You know, such a hard time and kind of almost thrown out the family for marrying this Protestant and yet the boys can all have sex with whomever they please whenever they want to. Anyway. Did so, they threaten to disown her if she married the guy? Yeah. They didn't, well that's why there's only one of them at the wedding. It was a very quiet wedding. And yeah, they didn't want it at all. And then I think the dad was the only one to go to the funeral. And then JFK only and came JFK to visit her in 63. 15 years later. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit yeah. harsh. <laughs> it is harsh, but you know when Rosemary, after her lobotomy, they put her into this residential home and, and nobody knew where she was for 20 years. So apparently JFK, because J him and Jackie had a funny relationship, uh, that she, I think, wanted to divorce him before his presidency. And this is the story of her, so just... Right. Yeah, pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. Well, I it don't know. I, I mean, it no, be. it's not that. <laughs> she wanted to divorce him because she just had had enough and he, he just cheated on her all the time. And uh, the, the senior, Joseph Senior, offered her like a million pounds to stay married to him or something like that. Right. It was a hard marriage because he was always cheating. And then one night he came back from having a date with one of his mistresses. They had a big row and she ran out of the house and she was just in a slip, you know, in her nighty. And he sent an ambulance to come pick her up and he took her to this hospital and they gave her electric, like three electric shock treatments. Really? Yeah. For her depression. 
but maybe if he'd behaved she wouldn't have been depressed so yeah i think they had quite a, a tumultuous relationship but i mean all relationships are not easy and i think he was a very sickly man but also i don't know what was with all the sleeping with women that's i mean that would make any relationship unstable i imagine i wouldn't be happy with it there's no way i'd stay with you if you were doing that even for a million what about two ah uh, there you go maybe two <laughs> <laughs> But I wouldn't, you know, to me, if I'm in a relationship, I want somebody to, 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 to love me. And if you're playing away, you're not loving me, are you? That's true. So if you're going to do that, that's fair enough. That's your choice. But then I won't be staying because I'll want to be with somebody who wants to be with me. That's just the way I see it. What about you? What about oh, me? Oh, yeah. Would you leave me if I cheated on you? <laughs> That's a good conversation, would you, Brian? Yeah. But would you come back? No. Yeah, you would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would. A bit confident there, my dear. Should we come to the psychic night? I wonder what the oh. psychic night would be like. Is there a psychic night? Yeah, an evening of Heart messages, felt. tears oh, and laughter. laughter. 20 pounds. Oh, including homemade pie, chips and mushy peas. What if your mom started talking to you? I, I want to hear from my dad. Brian, you're such a disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Look at <who> you married. Ah, <laughs> oh, touche. <laughs> Got you back. <laughs> My panniers shut. They See, are. No, normally, you know, because I've left my panniers open so often um, since getting the bike, I now do a routine where I have to knead them. <laughs> oh, what, you knead them shut? Give yeah, them a good old ram. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. I was going to say, I've got more stories about the, the Fitzwilliams, but I think that, that that's a vlog on itself because that, that's a really fascinating story. Plus, they were the motorbike training in for the war. Oh, were they? Yeah. Oh, well, so, there you go. It's actually a really amazing story. It, it will take ages to tell the stories because they are so good. So we can do the motorbike thing. And um, I'll, I'll actually contact them because they're trying to get famous again like Chatsworth. Woo! Fun road. Right, we're almost home. So uh, thanks for joining us today. Oh, God, I hate this. Right, we're almost home. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Why make me do this cheesy stuff? No, I hate it. Love them a kiss. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you big old cheese ball, you. Mm -hmm.